Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Matt's Reacts. Today we are doing a double dose of Pentatonix Christmas songs. We did Carol of the Bells. We saw Mitch breathe. We know he's human-ish. And now we're going to do your mean one, Mr. Grinch. Mr. Grinch. Mr. Grinch. Um, I like this song a lot. It's probably one of my favorite Christmas songs. And Carol the Bells had Avi. This has Matt. We can't compare the two at all. There's no, there's no comparing two different singers. Like you, you can't say one is better and one is worse and one is like doing this better than the other one did this better. It's just, no. Matt and Avi, completely different people. I think if they combined, they would cause earthquakes that would level cities, but they haven't yet, thankfully. And so we're going to hear Matt explain why Mr. Grinch is such a mean one. But as always, guys, I always, always do these videos and we always do words of affirmation. And I know that as Christmas approaches, lonely thoughts and dark friends in your mind can come to light more than they can the entire year round. I mean, there's less sunlight unless you're living right on the equator. There's less everything. But please, if you're having anxiety, if you're being, if you're, you're suffering from depression, if you can't find anyone else to turn, please come to this channel. Please. I've been there. I've been to the darkest points of my mind. And I can tell you it's not fun doing it alone. As we expand, I'll be doing more videos on what my therapists have given me for advice about these things and maybe talking about some of the antidepressants that I used and have used and what has worked and what has not worked. But as always, you are not alone. You are loved, you are kind, you are appreciated, you are valued, you are wise beyond belief. And I really hope that it helps people hear that. Because I know it helps me hear it. It just does. Like, even even if it's a very crappy day, and I don't usually swear. I don't know if that's considered a swear word, but I don't usually swear on this channel. Even if it's a crappy day, hearing that, you know, you're loved is just a wonderful thing to be heard. To have, to have said to you. To hear. But without further ado, I hope I like this music video, and I hope you like it too. All right, Matt, explain to me why he's a mean one. Every singer in PTX, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand. Whose voice is that? That is a lovely yes, speaking voice. The tall and the small would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand and PTX would start singing. They'd sing and they'd sing and they'd sing, sing, sing. And the more the Grinch heard them incessantly sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. For ten whole years I put up with it now. I'm a Okay, I really like this. I really like this performance aspect that we're getting now. This is really, really doing it for me. I don't know why. For ten whole years I put up with it now. I must stop this acapella from coming. But how? When he got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. <laughs> Alexa, 
Turn off the light. Sorry, I do not understand. Turn off the lights. Would you like to play more pentatonics? <laughs> It's like a modern take on the Grinch. Oh. Alexa, turn off the lights. Sorry, I do not understand. Turn off the lights. Would you like to play more pentatonics? No! Okay, I will not turn off the lights. Oh, I loved that. Oh, man. Come on. Pentatonics giving me some. Oh, this is good vibes right here. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a hero. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Oh, this is this is out of sight, good life. Holy cow! I remember somebody on the on the channel commenting as well that they got VIP tickets to go see Pentatonics. I'm so jealous of you. Holy dynamite! Just killing it. Greasy black and you're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pool. Mr. Grinch. Oh, this is out of sight. This, okay, I just said Carol of the Bell is one of my favorite. This is unbelievable. Like, Matt's showmanship, his charismatic attributes just shine through. Like, it's like a Broadway performance with five of the best, some of the best singers on earth. Like what? Charming as a eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. And you're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pool, Mr. Grinch. You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given a choice between the two of you, I'd take the seasick crocodile. <laughs> this is so cool. This is probably... This is Pentatonix at its best. And... Maybe not everyone will agree with that. My fish just jumped and hit the top of the tank. And so he doesn't agree. But my goodness. This is... This is Matt at the Elite. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's empty hole. 
Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot bull. Mr. Grinch. You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given a choice between the two of you, I'd take the seasick crocodile. <laughs> You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gum, Mr. Green. That is called a shame circle. This is out of sight, guys. Thank you for this. Wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gum, Mr. Green. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote, stink, stank, stunk. <laughs> Mr. Grinch, you're a crooked jerky jockey, and you drive a crooked horse. Mr. Grinch, you're a toadstool sandwich with arsenic. Ah, I got goosebumps, man. I got goosebumps. Holy cow, this is so cool. This is like, this is a totally different side of Matt that, that, I, that I've seen. Like, this is, this is like something taking control of Matt and being like, moment, time, shine. Like, oh my goodness gracious, how... In the like, does this does he have theater background? You guys are gonna have to let me know. I'm sorry for pausing so much, but this is too good. Oh my god! <laughs> Mr. Grinch, you're a crooked turkey jockey, and you drive a crooked horse. Mr. Grinch, you're a toadstool sandwich with arsenic sauce. You're a rotter. Mr. Grinch, you're the king of sinful sauce. Your heart's a dead tomato, splashed with moldy purple dots. Mr. Grinch, Mr. Grinch, Mr. Grinch. Your soul is an appalling dump heap, overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of the most... I don't know why they're going like this. You'll have to... Fill me in on that. But good God, Matt, do your, your thing. Your soul is an appalling dump heap, overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of the most deplorable rubbish imaginable. Mangled up in, tangled up in Mr. Grinch. <laughs> Out of sight. Out of sight. Like. That's the kind of stuff I love. I love people embracing the moment. Like when we saw in Sing Off. And Mitch had that opportunity. And he took a hold of it so well. And he smashed it. This was like Matt in another world. This was Matt from another dimension. This was like Matticus. This was incredible. Matt the Matt Hatter, Matticus. Amazing. Thank you so much for the suggestion, guys. Like, A+. Plus. And I love you all. I gotta go dance some more. <laughs>